some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in St. Louis, Missouri, where we have some body cam footage of uh, the trespassing of Central Tyrant Investigations from the local city hall. Uh, yeah, this should be entertaining. I mean, and we all love a good trespassing, right? So without further ado, let's get this show on the road, shall we? How's it going, sir? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Not too bad. What's, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on today? What do you, you mean? Got a call to report that you're acting suspicious, going upstairs, trying door handles, stuff like that. Are you talking to me? There's no one else here. You must be talking to me. Wow, that was an antique. Crap! Uh, who told you that? Uh, that would be the employees of this building. Charlie, saying I was doing what now? Trying door handles. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I was seeing if there was one, uh, if I could go into one. It was uh, information. I don't remember which one it was, but it, I just was going to go in there and ask him a quick question. Okay. What what part of the building are you looking for? No, I'm just doing a quick story. I'm just uh, gathering information to the public. Quick story? If yeah. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? Yeah, you're not there to gather content for a, a YouTube story or anything like that. You're there to, uh, well, be a royal pain in the ass to anybody that you encounter. I mean, you're there to stomp on everybody else's uh, personal liberties and uh, complain about your rights being trampled upon. That's exactly why you're there. You're not there for any story. You're there to be a, a whiny little crybaby bitch. I'm just, asking what, yeah, I'm just what's... checking out the building here, seeing what all they do. I went up there and uh, went inside, uh, I think, uh, what did she say she did? Like all the billing and stuff like that. I asked her what section that was and what she did. So okay. I, was, uh, I went to another place that looked just so, uh, similar to what she did, and but the door was locked, so I didn't try to okay. go in. Um, this is our the main offices of our city, so yeah. the normal city stuff. Yep, yeah, um, come and check it out. You're more than welcome to come here, and if you have business here, that's 100 cool. But going the upstairs part and start checking door handles, that's where the issue is. Like, what's the issue about seeing if something's open or not? Because and this is where uh, frauditors tend to uh, lack a lot of common sense. I mean, uh, you go in a place like this, and uh, doors are locked for a reason. Documents can get stolen. Data breaches can occur. All sorts of shenanigans can happen that way. Uh, personal property can be stolen. Uh, there's all sorts of things that can go wrong in this situation if you leave a door unlocked or uh, a room unsecured in this uh, building or any other building that, for that matter. It's just common damn sense, you dumbass frauditor. This upstairs isn't the public facilities part. Yeah, you can go up there and... I know you can go up there, but it's not public facilities to just walk and start trying door handles. No, I like, tried one door handle okay. to see if that man was in there so I could talk to him. Okay, yeah. hang out here with these officers real quick. I'm, I'm not being detained or anything, right? Uh, for right now, you are. For what crime? Uh, right now, it's for an investigation. You can't okay. detain just to investigate. You have to investigate and then detain. Okay, well, we got a panic alarm here. Well, no, so I'm investigating that. that I, think so. the, I think the secretary uh, <coughs> Yeah, I don't care. Okay. So, is he I, I'm not sure who he is, but, um, I'm just detaining him because we got a, I guess your office got a panic alarm. So, did you just come from your office, sir? Well, I walked in and I saw him there standing with the camera. I think I know it. I just went on upstairs and then as I'm walking in, that's when I hear you all talking to me. Okay. So he's um, just, and you know, and, and I don't know, people... When they come to building, I don't know what signage is, what they do, 
but the first place they do, they don't look, I guess they don't look at the arrow, but they try. Oh, they try my door. Yeah. They say my door. Yeah. You have, a, you have a secretary in there? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go check with her, make sure everything's cool. And they said he came in the art or Dakota came to talk to Dakota, but he said he was scared to talk to him in the camera. Yeah. Just freak the lady. Yeah. Oh, this isn't... Yeah. Well, when you have a complete giblet head, like uh, some of these frauders coming in and... Uh, harassing every employee they see and, uh, well, shoving a camera in your face and acting like they uh, own you and that you owe them absolute obedience and everything like that, that they should bow down to the frauditor and lick their boots as if they're some kind of hero? Uh, no, I can understand why the uh, secretary would uh, hit the panic button. They see Bill in the zone 202, and then they'll, they'll, they'll shake that door. Yeah. Or knock on that door. He, I guess he was that one he went into. Hi. Hi. We did get a panic alarm from the yeah. office. Okay. You. He was recording, and I did not want him to record, and he just disregarded. You know, well, yeah. I'm sorry, man. You know, he said, I'm sorry, but he's still recording. So. All right. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm going to have him leave, and yeah. um, if he comes back, if there's any issue, call us. We'll come back out and deal with that way, okay? Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know he came up here. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's basically just doing weird stuff, acting just a little off, just yeah. to kind of track attention himself so he can cause a scene. So we're just going to tell him to move on and... If there's any other issues, we'll do it with it then, okay? Thank you. Okay. All right, sir. Here's the deal. Just asking people. Here's the deal. You need to leave leave this building right now. For what? what? What have I done? This is a public building. I understand that. We do reserve the right to tell you to leave. For you do what? not actually have business here, so you need well, to leave. Let me inform you. I'm protected in the first I, I know. Here, leave. And this is actually business. You may leave. Bullshit! Bullshit! Are you trespassing me? I'm telling you, you have to leave now. But are you trespassing me? There's you're not currently trespassing from the building, but you're being asked to leave. Okay, so I'm I being, can ban you from the building if you listen, like. If you are asking me to, sir, leave? if you do not leave now, you will be under arrest. Okay, that's all I need. Thank you. January. What's your badge number? Leave. I'm leaving. I'm just asking you. I'm, tell, I'm oh, telling you hands over and over to leave. Uh -huh. Okay, you want to clear your scene? That's fine. Yes. You're freaking people out. They told you not to, not to record them. Yes. You refuse to follow. So now you. Wait, I told her I wasn't recording her. Okay, you may leave. Leave the property. Leave the whole property. Yes, sir. And are you trespassing me from the property? You're not currently banned, but uh, if you would like me to get you banned, I will, I will ban you. Yeah, I need something on paper. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, sir, you don't. I've already left inside of there, so... You're still on the property. Okay. This is City Hall, just to let you know. Yes, this correct. This is public property. This is where your rights this are. Is like st they still paper. have the right to tell you to leave. I have to be doing something nefarious. I have to be committing no, they a don't. crime. That is one of the biggest frauditor myths out there, that you have to be committing a crime to get trespassed. That is incorrect. There is no statute that I have ever read about trespassing where it says you have to be committing a crime to be trespassed. The only condition is that you have been asked to leave, and if you don't leave, then you are trespassing on their property. And, uh, well, dude, uh, that has been proven over and over again. And uh, so, therefore, you need to really pull your head out of your ass and take a look at how the world really works. I'm going, I'm going to your department and talking to your supervisor. All right. You were stupid, dude. Have a good day. Is this what you guys get paid to do? Just stand around? Just hang out until he... Yeah. If I'm not being trespassed, I can come back to you.
If you want to be banned, you can be banned. And then if you step another foot over here, you will be under be arrest for a criminal trespass. Then there will be a lawsuit against you guys, so go ahead. Okay. It's all over the country. This isn't my first rodeo. I'm just letting you guys know. And that is where the video ends right there, everybody. And the main uh, thing that we can take away from this is, well, these fraudulent threats are pretty much a bunch of hot air from a bunch of uh, overinflated, egotistical uh, windbags with the uh, superiority complexes coming out the ass. I mean, that's the truth of the matter. They think they're better than everybody else, and... Uh, they think they know the law, they think they know this, they think they know that, when in actual reality, all they ever do is quote mine and misinterpret everything they come in contact with. And, uh, well, it just gets pretty damn stupid. Especially you, Central Tyrant Investigations. You are at the bottom of the frauditor heap anyway. And I doubt you'll ever rise to the... Uh, levels of stupidity that uh, Christopher Cordova or uh, AFA have. I mean, they're the cream of the crop as far as stupidity goes. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?